Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Park Studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some realistic, high quality rendering setting in Enscape. So before we start this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work. I'm going to start my job with this environment that we have in here. As you can see, one simple tiny bicycle in this place, a dog, mirror, two personage and two lights in this place and we have some simple HDRI in here so we have some simple three in this place and I'm gonna start my job with the scene number one in my SketchUp environment so I'm gonna click on the scene number one in here and close the view management so I'm gonna turn on the a safe frame for my job and I want to click on the uh, visual setting and reduce the field of view to zoom a little bit on my 3D model. So now I want to close it and move a little bit to the uh, left side to see what happened. For example, something like that can be really good. So time for the lighting. I only want to use the sunlight and sun shades. So I'm going to hold shift and right click on my cursor and move my cursor to see what happened. As you can see, we can change the lighting very simple and easy, but it depends on you how you want to turn on the lights into your house. So I prefer to use the direct sun light for this scene in here, for example, 8 a.m., something like that, or I can reduce it to some number like the, uh, for example, that one. As you can see, the details are amazing in this 3D model and I download it from the 3dwarehouse.com so I can move the uh, sun like that to see what happened I think something like that is really wonderful and I'm gonna hold Ctrl U and I to change the uh, sun direction something like this alright I'm gonna click on the uh, visual setting and turn off the uh, auto exposure and re-exposure my screen manually some number about 53 percent is really good and for the field of view 54 is really nice so i'm going to increase the rendering quality to the high mode to see all changes at the same time and i'm going to click on the uh, depth of field uncheck the uh, auto focus and i can uncheck it and play with the focal point to see when I want to focus on my target so it completely depends on you and your rendering setting but I prefer to use some far distances for example I want to focus on this women in here and the stairs so some number about 8.70 meter is really good and depth of field is about 12 percent so I'm gonna click on the uh, image bar use the uh, auto contrast and move the uh, visual setting in here as you can see the main part of the render related to this place the dog and the woman who sits on the uh, sofa so I can play with the uh, color temperature to see what happened before I check out and completely fix my saturation and color temperature I must fix my sun brightness so I'm going to click on the atmosphere and Decrease some brightness to see what happened in my environment as you can see some lighting like that is really wonderful but it's a little bit too dark for this scene so I prefer to use 70% for my lighting and click on the image bar right now I can increase the color temperature or I can decrease it I prefer to increase it because I need a little bit cold balance in my render color 10,800 Kelvin is the best number for these type of renders and I'm gonna click on the uh, motion blur and turn it off so saturation is good and 100 is the best number for it the value of the bloom is something about zero and lens flare is some number about I think six percent now we have sharp render so if you want sharp render you can decrease the lens flare and bloom option Vignate is some number about 4 and we don't need chromatic aberration so I'm going to convert it to the 0% Atmosphere is good right now and some brightness is normal Night sky brightness not important because it's the daylight rendering 
and shadow sharpness. Look at all of these shadows in here. When I increase the shadow sharpness, all the result is completely sharp. So 96% is really wonderful. And artificial light brightness related to these spotlights and hidden lights behind this mirror. So I'm going to increase the uh, artificial light brightness and you can see the changes in here and it shows that the, it's worked correctly. So some number about 138% is really nice and ambient brightness is about 66%. So wind is completely zero and sky is one of the important GI calculation parameters. So for the sky box, I'm going to use the uh, clear and turn off the uh, density to the uh, zero, variety zero, Cyrus amount zero, and count rails zero. So I'm going to press enter. Everything is done for me right now. At the main bar, I'm going to turn on the auto exposure and re-exposure my 3D rendering image in here. Some number about 76% is wonderful and I'm going to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode. So as you can see everything is done for me right now but I can check out some of these colors in the image bar so I'm going to turn off the auto contrast and manage highlights. Look at this place in here it completely burns with the direct sunlight. If I decrease the highlights I can manage it and it's really wonderful. So some number about negative 44% is good and shadows can be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to decrease the shadows to see this color volume in here. Negative 32% is good and saturation is about 99%. So now we have better render, normalized render and it's really wonderful for our job. So I think time for the uh, rendering. So I'm going to decrease the sun brightness a little bit to see what happened. As you can see, the result is something like that and totally it's not really bad and it's really wonderful. So 19% for the uh, sun brightness and in the image, now I can increase the saturation or decrease the color temperature. So every time you think about that, your render result is not realistic. You must check the uh, saturation and color temperature and after that you must check out some brightness because it's one of the uh, important parameters in interior rendering. So saturation is about 105% and now it's really wonderful. So finally I'm going to click on the uh, costume and increase my resolution a little bit. I think uh, maybe for example Ultra HD is really good and I think we don't have any job in the main bar. You can increase the depth of field to see more focus on the uh, stairs and the uh, women but I prefer to use depth of field about 11%. So I'm gonna close it in here and finally for the uh, rendering you can click on the uh, screenshot button in here and save it everywhere you want for example on the desktop with the jpg format and i'm gonna press save it depends on your graphic card and your final config of the pc so i use graphic card nvidia gtx 960 2 gigabyte overclocked and it's really work most of the time and if you use RTX graphic cards or Quadro RTX, you can turn on the RTX mode in Enscape and enjoy your 3D visualizing. So as you can see, it takes a little bit time on the Ultra HD quality. And finally, you can see the final result after a second. It's about 46%, 48 And I think it's almost over and uh, I think it's done for me. So, two parameters is really important on rendering. First one related to the uh, objects and assets you set on the uh, screen and the second one related to the uh, lighting. So as you can see I have this rendering here and the result is really wonderful. 
If you don't like to use some heavy rendering engines like the Avire or Lumion, you can use Enscape and SketchUp. It's the magic mixture of the softwares and it's really wonderful. Thanks for your watching. Please subscribe us and goodbye.